Love to see. All right, there's the GLHF, and here we have him. Uh, best or good friend from CPU. He's playing for Head IT, who I have no idea which clan uh, that actually is. But he spawned as the green Terran player here in the nine o'clock position on Catalina. It is Grancy. And his opponent spawned as the teal Terran player. Playing for Team BL at the one o'clock position, it is Pan Flaska. Swedish player. And I think Grand C was a German player. Oop, let me get that sound fixed up in a GIF. Yeah, I think that's about that's about right. Yeah, so uh, I've not heard anything about this player yet. Um, either of these players, actually. So we'll have to see how it turns out. And I haven't actually followed the um, WCS qualifiers so far. Like, not, I've not seen a single game. <laughs> so i kind of surprised for tomorrow. <laughs> I know a couple guys have actually been... Um, uh, have actually been trying a couple of times so far. But... Um, who, who made it? A new player made it. Like, one player I've never heard of before, and they actually posted a... Uh, like, the video of his last match, or like, the winning moments on Reddit. But I've, I've not seen it, just se seen the headlines. He had a funny name. But, no, nothing, nothing really... Nothing really extraordinary, though. Okay, so far, uh, both players going for gas at pretty much the exact same time. Um, I think uh, Pan Flaska was a little bit earlier, but um, he was a little bit later on his barracks, so I guess that's a trade-off. And there we have Grand C already producing his first marine, so yeah, he is a little bit tighter on his schedule there. Game paused. And that's the first pause. Awesome. <laughs> but both players um, did go for the uh, six position, uh, six o'clock position scout here. So. Um, not really the fastest scout in the game. Neither of them will get it, at least. And we're good to go. Great. Let's let's see how this uh, Grand C is actually playing it out. And this uh, should be a best of one, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's see the first first changes coming in here. We have a reactor being produced by Grand C. He putting on a little bit of uh, marine pressure, and following that up uh, with a CC. He's gathering an awful lot of minerals, so would expect yeah. something like that. That's the next pause. Um, lots of lag coming in here for Pan Flaska, but it doesn't really all matter all that much. He'll probably get it fixed up. Uh, by the way, Pan Flasker already going for a CC, so uh, he does have two Marines already available to defend that, but should probably get a bunker up uh, eventually here. I mean, on Catalina we have a little bit of a longer um, rush distance, but still, it's it's not the longest in the game or anything like that. So you do want to get that bunker up, especially since he hasn't hasn't scouted anything out yet. But he will pretty soon, that SCV is coming in, and we'll probably see the reactor soon. Um, though Grand CC... No, he, he did have a marine, didn't he? Yeah, he does have two marines available somewhere. Oh, over here. Green on green, never a good way to spot. But uh, Panflaska did see that command center. It's actually harassing a little bit here. And marines are coming in, and will take out that SCV, will they? Yes, they will. Maybe could have swung around the, the geysers there, but nah, not too easy to actually um, keep that SCV alive. Alright, so uh, Grand Flaska is a little bit ahead as far uh, as his expansion goes, uh, which should give him an economic lead eventually. But um, so far, um, not coming in, of course. And then we have the factory coming from both of these players. Grand CC again a little bit earlier. And we'll probably go for that swap and um, give us a couple of Hellions, but could also go for the defensive style here and 
produce a couple of Uno mines. But we'll see. First Hellions, first two Hellions are just getting pumped out, and the Starport already in production as well. So I would expect a uh, an additional gas here pretty soon, just to uh, pump out additional updates, uh, upgrades for his barracks, and maybe uh, go for for some kind of swap again for the Starport. By the way, the Starport is also coming in here for Pan Flaska, and that's. Almost three quarters of the way done. Starport is done now for Grand C. And there's the scan by Pan Flasker. And he saw pretty much everything. Yep, did see the entire base. Um, couldn't scout out saturation here on the natural, but ah, nothing all that much happening yet. And there we go. Medivac is, be is being produced. So we could be seeing um, some kind of drop attempt here uh, coming out of Grand C. But. Checking out the front here on Pan Flaska. He's already pretty well defended. Uh, opted to go uh, for the Widow Mine here. So that does help out quite a bit. He can borrow that here pretty soon and then just be so much safer in the front and at least keep his yeah, keep his ramp safe. And then have the Marines kind of as a yeah, mobile defense force within the main. I like that quite a bit. So we'll see how that plays out. Medivac is full and loaded with four Hellions. Jeez, that's a lot of Hellions. And those can do some decent damage, but Widowmine um, getting in position. And that's a good spot for the Widowmine to defend. Let's see. We see how that works out. So far, he hasn't scouted the Hellions. Oh, you can see him barely now. And Hellions are coming in. There's the first shot. Actually gets one Hellion, two Hellions quite low. And a lot of Marines coming out. Siege tanks also coming out. Oh jeez, I guess these Hellions don't do all that much, but Grand C does get away. Nice pickup here. Oh, he does need to watch out a little bit. Meanwhile, Marines came in on the right side, a couple of Hellions as well. Did some decent damage, but losing those two Hellions is a little bit costly. So, Worker's Tail, 10, but uh, checking out the resources lost, pretty much even. So, um, not too bad for Grand C. Um, and he did go in a second time here with his Hellions. Did lose all three of them, though. So, uh, that's that for Harassment. And now he needs to watch out, because I, I kind of have this idea that uh, Pan Flaska will probably do maybe one more scan and then try to, try to go for some counter-offensive here. At least that's something I would expect out of him. Uh, bunker is ready for Grand C, but production not really on top of it. Um, he does have some decent income. Should probably uh, take a couple of SCVs out of gas though. He's mining an awful lot of gas and not really ready for that mech transition quite yet. Uh, he does have the tech lab available, but yeah, definitely needs a uh, needs a four factory here if he really wants to make do with his minerals. But wow, just four Hellions for defense. And look at that army that Pan Flaska is bringing in. That's a lot of army supply, lots of marines. Just a single siege tank though. So if he can get rid of that siege tank somehow, he might be able to hold it. No, but just Hellions. Jeez, siege tanks all sieged up. He does have a siege tank of his own, but it's in really bad positioning for him right now. He needs to get a second siege tank out, get that up on the cliff, and possibly stop this onslaught. Pan Flaska, meanwhile, he's still producing SCV, so at home, building up an economic lead. Almost uh, getting there with workers and his mineral income is already off the charts. Oh, some marines would do wonders here for Grand C. He could get rid of that uh, Viking and stop the siege, but looks like Pan Flaska is turning back. Possibly saw that um, mech switch coming out and knew, okay, he's, he's gaining a lot already by not having that um, not having that command center mining here and not getting any gas. So this does help out um, Pan Flaska quite a bit. And he's also going for his third CC. And there are two engineering bases, so it's gonna be Bio versus Mech here. And so far it looks pretty good for Pan Flaska. I mean, uh, he doesn't have a huge lead right now, but he caught up with the SCVs. He does have the air super superiority, uh, which does help out quite a bit. Allowing him his siege tanks to actually move up further and further. Oh, actually move one of them at least into range here. That's not too good, but gets rid of a lot of Hellions. And, ooh, nice move! Vikings landing on top of the siege tank, getting rid of that siege tank. And so far, only two siege tanks for Grand C. 
But um, he did lose his own, or both of them at least. Um, so that's a big blow to his, um, to his CG on the natural. And Grand C getting a couple workers here in the gas again. So he can continue with his mech production. No updates out of him uh, as of yet. So he's getting a little bit behind since the updates for Bio have already started. 1-1 one, one is on the way. Um, he does... Uh, does he have Stim? He doesn't have Stim yet? They don't have any updates yet. Wow. Well, he was under uh, on a little bit of harassment pressure, but he... Yeah, he should definitely should go for that Stim. He, it looks like he just noticed himself now. So getting there a little bit later, but yeah. Uh, did get that command center up, um, has a solid income so far, uh, 1,700 mineral income. Not as good on the gas, but of course he is playing bio, so uh, doesn't need that gas, uh, doesn't need all that much gas just yet. And that's the next pass coming out of him. But uh, having a look at Grand C's base, I mean, um, right now he's in a spot where he can actually use all of the gas, use all of his minerals. And he should look for that third CC now. Thing is, uh, with the positioning here, maybe he wanna, wants to take this one. Could also go for this one, but as a mech player, you really try to expand towards your opponent. You really want to have a little bit of a shorter um, shorter distance to your opponent, to actually attack him. And of course, um, also have your bases uh, kind of close to each other to react to anything. Okay, it looks like Pat Flaska did fix the lag. And now he needs to uh, resupply his army here a little bit. Lots of these Vikings are quite low. Uh, luckily for him, Grand C hasn't gone for Viking production of his own. He's opting to just go for pure, um, yeah, pure siege. Oh, actually, he did get a couple of Vikings, but doesn't have any in production right now. So we'll have to see if uh, he can get the air superiority here. So far, it's four Vikings for him and four for his opponent. Uh, kind of a uh, draw right now, nothing really happening, and um, still giving it to Pan Flaska. He is uh, a pretty high number of, of workers, uh, 58 right now. But their um, supplies have somehow evened out, and Grand C is finally looking to go for that third CC. There's a the scan. Wow, that that was pretty much a perfect timing for Pan Flaska. And yeah, positioning his army quite well, just to defend uh, against any incoming attacks. And there is the uh, first upgrades coming in. Uh, we do have the blue flame upgrade for Grand C, as well as the uh, plus one armor, uh, plus one weapons actually. Um, plus one, plus one did come in for Pan Flasker. He's already going for his plus two, plus two. And of course, finally, Stim is done. He did go for combat shields as well as um, concussive shells. So finally getting all his upgrades in, and just now going for a, wow, four, four barracks. Not bad, and wow, that scan actually missed it. So, a good timing on the scan, but not quite, uh, yeah, not quite catching it in the right spot. We didn't have a second scan coming in, yeah. I don't know, that was pretty much uh, useless, but we'll see, that's, that's a big fight we're coming in. And... Gotta give it uh, to Grand C as far as the army comp supply is concerned, but doesn't really uh, look like a good position for him. And their superiority is... Oh, he's in a good spot. Five Vikings versus three. So he can go hunting, but he needs to watch out for those marines. Oh yeah. That's a close call. And that's a nice concave for Pan Flaska. Not gonna be all too easy to actually get in there. And it's kind of hard for Grand C to make a move here. He's probably waiting for a couple of reinforcements and he should really work on his uh, work on his macro in the meantime. Uh, let's saturate that third. Vikings still on the hunt. Um, actually a nice idea for Pan Flaster to go up there and oh actually baiting out a lot of Hellbats! Wow! Some unnecessary losses here for Grand C. Oh, I don't know what he wanted to do there. Maybe try to sneak into the third here. 
Oh, great move by Pan Flask. I don't think uh, C noticed it. No, he didn't at all. Oh, this could be a great move. See an awesome constriction coming in here on the right side. Yeah, so he's trying to open up this flank and then... Um, oh, Grand C, he should really notice. Maybe position his Vikings a little bit further up. But look at that. Look at that amazing army positioning here for Pan Flaska. He's trying to come in from uh, three sides at once. Well, he only has a decently sized force here in the middle. But all of these forces on the left side, a couple of marauders, a couple of marines. On the right side, lots of marines, a couple of marauders. So this looks pretty amazing. If he can actually synchronize all of this, and then come in at the same time. Oh no, it's been spotted out. At least the left flank has. So let's see if he's gonna snap. Doesn't look like it. Looks like he either wants to come in from the back or uh, try something else here. But Grand C did clear this up and... Oh, there it is. There's the move out. He's coming from all sides, but that's a lot of siege tanks. They're still alive. He's closing in. Getting rid of two, three, four, five. Wow, he's actually clearing this up and that moved up his siege tanks. But there's a couple more waiting up here. Actually, five more and they're in a pretty good position to uh, siege up the main. And there we go. He's doing just that. Seven Vikings right now, uh, four uh, Grand C, and Pan Flax doesn't have any. There's the Stim, he's moving on top of the Hellbats. Lots of Hellbats are melting, he's trying to get on the right side as well. Ooh, Siege Tanks are melting here, looks like he can clear this up and finally be gone with that Siege. Good job, Pan Flaska. Did lose a lot of resources, but I think he uh, does come out at the, as the victor here, especially since that third has been established for quite some time. He does have some minerals in the bank, so should probably go for a little bit more production. Meanwhile, Grand C finally got that third going, but uh, not really saturated in the gas, and that's starting to hurt him. You can see his gas income is quite low. Actually, lower than Pan Flask is never a spot you want to be in as the uh, as the mech player. And there we go. There's a doom drop. We hell. Um, Three medevacs uh, full of units and they're standing right in production. That's not a good spot, Not especially not after you've lost uh, your entire army. And there we go. First uh, factory already burning down. Second one going down and that's not a lot of army returning here for Grand C. Uh, I don't think this is enough for him to clear it up. Especially if Pan Flasker actually realizes there are just two Vikings and he could just speed up there and unload. Looks like the Hell Hellions might be enough. And he's leaving all those units in there. But he did an amazing job just clearing up a couple of factories, getting rid of these add-ons. So he put himself in a pretty good spot um, to probably even already close off this game. This tiny spot is still working on the main base. Well, we have a pretty big-ass army uh, accumulating here. And he still has reinforcements coming in. Meanwhile, also going for a fourth base. So this is pretty insane for Pan Flaska right now. And he's almost maxed out. He's gonna go for this third base. His tiny hit squad, still a single Marauder left alive. There we go, Hell uh, Vikings have to be landed to deal with this. And there we go. He splashes into blood. Leaves a little nasty stain there. And that third, wow. Crazy oversaturation going on. She could have probably gone for that uh, 11 o'clock base. There's the mass stim, and he's going straight for the third. Final focus, and it's going down. All these factories, they're finishing up, and oh, he should clear this out. But good decision uh, to actually get rid of that position. I mean, he he could have cleared up the factory and then went for um, went for the siege tanks. Problem was. Um, that would have cost him maybe one or two siege tank shots, and he doesn't have a lot of medevacs. So, a little bit too costly. Should probably get back into medevac production, that would help out his army quite a bit. But uh, he is uh, he's actually working on his plus two upgrade um, for the tanks, so that's not too shabby, uh, considering he is the bio player. But a um, really solid way to answer to this, bio play uh, to this uh, mech play of Grand C. Uh, Grand C, meanwhile, uh, incredibly low in the income. But uh, Pan Flaska is not doing uh, too good either. A um, little bit of oversaturation going on here at this force base. And there we go, he's going straight for it. 
not even sieging, sieging. Oh, that's actually a bad position for him, blocking his entire army. But they are moving up close and getting right on top of these siege tanks. Looks like he can finally clear it up. And that should be GG here. And there we go. Grand C taps out. And Panflaska moves on to the next round.